seemed like prior years we were harassed by mosquitoes. Steve Pate, who's lived in this Chandler home since 2011, came up with a solution, a bat house. The primary function benefit of the, those bats would be eating mosquitoes, eradication. It's all natural. Arizona Game and Fish say they encourage people to build bat houses for that reason. So in February of last year, Steve says it went up. That opening you see is three quarters of an inch wide. They all saw they need to get into the bat house. Fast forward to June 22nd of this year and Steve gets this letter from his HOA calling it a nuisance and asking him to get it out of sight. He gets another letter July 11th giving him two weeks. Steve says he was told over the phone to get rid of it altogether because neighbors are concerned about rabies. The, the word I would use would be shocking because of the length of time they'd been there and all the positive feelings, feedbacks I've been getting from the neighbors. Steve admits he didn't ask his HOA for permission, but didn't see the rules specifically mention bat houses. I didn't think I really needed to because of it being like a, like a birdhouse, a habitat. The HOA sent us a statement saying they're just following the rules that each owner has agreed to follow and that the structure is against the guidelines of the community. Steve says his main concern now is whether his bat signal worked. You don't want to interrupt a nest or colony while there are babies present.